getting straight into this. I haven't even loaded this character. And all that has to take is like all of it. Fifty uh, tracks! Oh, and I, I think I have really low sound. You might need to turn that up. Row of caught a technical difficulty. Whew, Jesus Christ. I gave Carson a GameCube controller because I decided we could actually do proper multiplayer. We can both be Terry McGinnis over here. Ah, uh, he has a green alt. All is right with this world. His alts are interesting because he, uh, he doesn't have his Garo jacket and we don't have Roll 63, Terry. I am That's one of my favorite alts because his hat says Neo Geo on it. Because it did that in one of the games. Like how Diddy Kong has his Nintendo hat. I guess we're jumping into this. I'll use the Neo Geo representation. Unfortunately, no. Uh, a Garo jacket, which is really unfortunate. Cloud gets his fucking, like, edgy goddamn one sleeve fucking overcoat. Ah, uh, Cloud. <laughs> Two versus one! Because it's uh, like, because that's how we do fairness. Oh yeah! This man, it, it hits for a shit time. I'm trying to do the actual motion inputs. Because, I'm not! Because those do like 30 fucking percent if you can hit them. If you hit their we can mess with that later. For now, if you hit with their hard uh, <laughs> version, like oh Jesus, for now I'll just awkwardly spam. Oh, there I got one. Oh wait, it's a wall off. We need to do this right. Do this the fair and balanced way. Gonna roll them sticks. Uh, that does that feels fascinating was like oh, oh on wait. Hey S and K oh, Hey S and K boss is cheated, it's only uh, we're only being accurate. Oh and wait, we have to zone them out. Oh yeah! We're just playing neutral. <laughs> Fighting game terms. Fighting game joke. Yes. Most of my commentary is... Ready? Hey, that's kind of a thing. Wait, he, he's huge, so... We just sit here and up tilt. We can juggle. That's, you know, the uh, one thing was like giant characters, and again, if you uh, uh, say that it's uh, cheating, have you seen the uh, fucking SNK games? You have oh to... yeah, team combo! You have to cheat to beat those. We need to slam jam! Yeah. This man does hit like a fucking truck. Damn it! Avenge me! I roll too much! Oh, uh, at least that proves if one character dies, we uh, both don't die. In, I, Mo in World of Lie and Spirit Battles, I believe if you both... Uh, I learned uh, that! That was just me... Un like, underestimating exactly how far he does the fucking roll. Like, seriously, look at how... I can already see the online doubles. Big free Terry. I'm actually 
Oh, but his attack seemed to. I'm out. actually doing decent at the rolling. God, GameCube controller is just. If I had proper fucking button mapping, I would actually GameCube controller and Skullgirls. I'm actually better at rolling. I and I realized. I believe I realized why that works so good on a GameCube controller. It's those weird nub things. The GameCube controller has those divots, and I think that's why it controlled better to me as a child. Also! Oh wait, no tap jumping, I cut that off. Yeah. That's gonna help too. Holy shit at that fucking damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That is a lot of fucking damage. Oh yeah, fighting game rules, bitches! Hey, be glad it's a quarter circle back and not a charge input. <gasps> that should be the thumbnail. Okay, then you make it the thumbnail. Learn to edit, Carson. No, I have a life. You know, for a game about the smish attacks, we weren't doing the smish attacks. I keep doing them. Because, again, this man hits like a fucking truck. He also has He hits like the trucker hat he is. Damn it. Time to roll my sticks. I can't re remember. Did he <laughs> have a command input for power wave, or is it just the crack shoot and the dash attack? I don't. Re we could pause and look at that. <laughs> That's not how this works. Ready, go. This man hits like a truck bomb. Yes. Oh no, the top tier is here. Oh my god, that hit both of us. Oh yeah! Wait, oh, and I, I want to see if I can SD her with power dunk. Oh, damn it! So much English! Yes. That's what he's known for. Damn it, Beowulf! Wrong fighting game. <laughs> I'm noticing in multiplayer we have a chronic massive advantage. It's almost like it's two against one. Power dunk! So most of our commentary is just not the best, but I'm not, you know, the best at fighting games, but I I am getting I really <laughs> Damn it, Carson! <laughs> Damn you! Oh, get back here, you punk! You punk! You punk! We need to just do a trash multiplayer video about it someday. Trash multi- No! No, you mean god tier multiplayer. I agree with Maximilian. We need a trash Evo that's like all the licensed trash anime fighters. Ah, oh, yeah. This is happening. I need to go back and look at like, exactly his inputs were. Because I remember the back is crack shoot forward. I feel like I. Mm. On the fucking Switch controllers, I cannot quarter roll in Skullgirls this consistently. Well, this is also a game without tap jumps. That really does make a monocr. <laughs> okay, we both know Smash has tap jumps. Yes, but we turn them off like normal people. I 
I find it funny how we like just keep doing the same shit. Work, doesn't it? How's that for a DP, asshole? Holy shit, how much damage did that do? Oh, I can't get too reckless. Yeah, pay attention. No, the, the walls are there. We act Look, you actually can't walk off. Because of no, the I mean... You're missing my- Oh god, okay. No, when I said too reckless, I meant I didn't want him. Yeah. I'm just trying to quarter all in smash! Nice I'm just trying to quarter roll in smash! Cause that's a thing you can do, apparently. You could do it with Ryu. Well, this is to be like the stick of uh, fighting in characters that they have their command inputs in Smash. And then a Skullgirls character gets in Smash. If they were going to pick someone from Skullgirls, I mean, who would they... It would it'd most likely either be Philia or Cerebella, because those two are kind of the poster characters for the game, and Mike Z has a fetish for grapplers. Mike Z has three fetishes. A grappler is horrible too, Superman. Then Miss Fortune gets in. Wait, can we run into each other? Huh, I think we can. One of us should probably stay at the top of the screen, and the other one should probably stay at the bottom. Aw, uh, yeah. Teamwork. Not the best commentary, but I find it horrible. Most to people's commentary is either going to be talking about all the S and, and K references, or what the fuck is a Terry. You uncultured swine. Because I feel people really do undermine why yes. he deserves... Especially, again, because of the story of King of Fighters 95 is the reason Smash exists. Because Sakurai, after beating someone who... Oh, was... we can't run into each other. Because yeah. Sakurai, after beating a casual player that had never played the game before and picked it up for the first time wanted to basically make a game where anyone of any skill level or basically can pick it up and immediately understand what to do. Closer mm -hmm. I haven't touched a GameCube controller in a while. one of those like if we're gonna you know a lot of the damn kids wouldn't understand what the fucking SNK is mm -hmm. even though Sean who is older than me didn't understand what the fucking SNK was Sean didn't realize it was a developer yeah. but he uh, thought it was like a genre well it's still technically kind of not wrong they're a developer yes yeah, yeah, so, but an SNK fighter is kind of, sort of, a small subset of fighters, because have you seen those fucking inputs? But they made Metal Slug. Yes. That's a cool as hell picture. Congratulations. Now for the spirit mode. Terry Booger. And, and the postman having a sweet orgasm. He does look like that, or he is taking the... Or he's taking the biggest shit. Okay, let's just move on to the spirits that fucking cheat. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, what do you guys think of Terry? In my opinion, he makes a perfect representative for Smash because he perfectly represents the legacy that is... The SNK fighting games that were all over the arcades in the early and mid-90s. Terry was a perfect pick to represent that entire company's arcade history. As for his moveset, I think he has a very solid selection of moves. I was really enjoying using Terry 
And I think his fighting game commands are not that difficult to pull off. At least, in my opinion, because I was messing around with other fighting games. And I don't think quarter rolls are the most complex movement. But anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave some comments. If you want to keep up with our videos, hit the subscription button and ring the notification bell. And if you follow me on social media, that helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. See you all next time.